Hey everybody, Dan from On One here, and I'm excited to give you a sneak peek at a new tool that we're working on that's going to live inside of Edit. And it lives right over here in the tool well, and it's called Liquify. What Liquify lets you do is to either push or pull pixels in the photo to a different area, or to make them bigger or smaller. It has a ton of different uses, I'm going to show you just a few of them. For this photo, I want to show you how you can use it to fix apparel issues. So I'm going to zoom in just a little bit, and if we look down here, along her tank top, there's some wrinkles that are popping up, and there was also a pocket, an inside pocket, on this sweater. Neither of those we really want in the photo, but sometimes you miss that stuff in your shoot. So I'm going to show you how we can use the liquify tool to minimize those a little bit. Now I'm not going to get rid of these completely, I just want to make them smaller. So I'm going to grab the liquify tool. Up here in the tool well, you'll see the options. There's the push tool, that's the one that works like finger painting. You can just kind of push things around. There's also a bloat tool, which makes things bigger. And there's also a shrink tool, which makes things smaller. So for this one, I'm gonna use that shrink tool over here. And I'm just going to click and wiggle around the things I wanna make a little bit smaller. I wanna make those wrinkles a bit smaller. So watch, I'm just gonna push and pull on these guys and they're just gonna kind of get smaller as I move my mouse over the top of it. And you can see it just kind of shrinks and puckers those little wrinkles right up. And of course you can use the tools together. I can also use that push tool to also push some of these little points in a little bit. So I'm just going to drag those in. It's going to kind of push them in and pull the adjacent regions out a little bit to help kind of smooth out that line. There you go. So you can see with just a few strokes, I'm going to turn the preview on and off so you can see before and after. There's before, those wrinkles are much larger. And after, I was able to shrink those wrinkles down. Same thing over here where we have this interior pocket that we don't like. I'll just grab the shrink tool and I can just brush it right along there and you'll notice how it makes that area smaller. It's pulling the gap between the sweater and the shirt to make it smaller. And I do that a few times, I can really minimize the distraction of that little interior pocket that I didn't notice, just like that. Now I know a lot of you guys are landscape photographers and you're saying, what would I ever use the Liquify tool for in a landscape? Well, let me show you. I'm just gonna switch over to a different photo. In this case, a picture of a sand dune. Well, I can use that Liquify tool to help reshape the shape of the sand dune. It has kind of this nice curve coming down. I really wanna accentuate that curve and make it even bigger. So we'll just grab that Liquify tool. I'm gonna to use the push option. I'll make my brush bigger here. And watch, I can now push the sand further to the left, really accentuating the appearance of that curve, just like that, before and after. Let me show you one more example here with this pear. I've got the stem coming up and curving to the left, and I want to straighten that out just a little bit. Let me zoom in just a touch. I'll grab that liquify tool. Again, I'm going to use that push option, and this is just going to let me finger paint, pull that stem to be straighter. While I'm at it, I could make the leaf a little bit bigger too. There we go. Let's take a look at the before and the after. There's before, and there's after, just like that. There you go. A sneak peek of the new Liquify tool coming very soon. Thanks for watching.